It is important to us with our history, with our racing history, that we keep on developing in this respect. And we know that we have a very strong tradition. And this also means that we have to react to today's world. That's precisely what sets Porsche apart. That is what allows the brand to remain iconic. To me, the Cayman is already an iconic car. For three generations, we've managed to redefine the design without losing the main features. So, the 718 Boxer and Cayman are connected to each other even more strongly now. And at the same time, we also focused on highlighting the individual design features that are unique to the Cayman even more. In other words, the roof line is yet more precise, stretched even tighter over the driver's head. While we also took another look at the rear wings. On the Cayman, we've made the rear wings a bit flatter so that they appear even wider when viewed directly from the rear, seen from behind. These are the aspects that distinguish the two cars. One thing is for sure, Porsche is never the widest car. That's why we pay so much attention to ensuring that we get the proportions right. In other words, we try by every possible means with graphics and emphasizing the wings to make the cars appear flatter because we don't necessarily want to just grow wider. And the 718 Cayman is an excellent example of this. In comparison to its predecessor, we tried to make it look wider, despite its actually being the same width. I like the Cayman best from behind. I love this entire area of the C-pillar and rear wings. I'm also aware that making these wings in this way is a complicated process, and it also confirms that it is actually possible to make something that looks good and that your colleagues can also manufacture it. So it was a great result for us. Now, of course, the front design of the 718 is also completely new and very purist from my point of view. We use very fine lines all over the front. If we look at the headlights from above, for instance, it has a very wide emphasis, very soft on the inside, but is still very focused and contoured nevertheless. The lower nose section and this entire front end are very precisely drawn. And, of course, we made the large air intake very functional. We were very happy to use them, because I find these functional elements give the car a sportier look than its predecessor. The air intakes are broader and extended more to the sides. Now we have a completely new angle in the front which gives the Cayman an even more masculine image which goes very well with the rear. The 718 Cayman, or the Cayman in general, also lives a bit from the fact that this very soft design language typical of Porsche is combined with a very sharp and clearly defined framework of lines. And these lines on the inside of the wings and the front area with the front spoiler are also very sharply drawn. These are all edges with which we want to give the car a masculine feel. And yet, the Cayman remains a Porsche. Dennoch bleibt der Cayman ein Porsche. Of course, the 718 Cayman shows perfect proportions for its segment. That means a long wheelbase, a really low nose, and a very pronounced rear wing. These are characteristics that we always emphasize in the Porsche DNA. At the same time, the Cayman has special design aspects of its own, such as the extremely dynamic, sweeping front and rear wings, and of course, the large side air inlets, which call attention to the mid-engine characteristics. The air inlets are also larger because the new drive technology needs a significantly higher throughput of air. Now, this is why we made these black elements larger, more striking, and they capture a bit more of the wind. 
also die Heckansicht, wie so oft. Well, the rear view is and is so often the case with Porsche. Very important for the Cayman too. Here we have a very tightly contracted passenger cabin, which makes the rear wings seem even wider. And like at the front, the wings have a very precise little edge which structures the entire surface up to the rear wheels. And we've given the car the perfect finishing touch at the back with a new badge. This element is, in my opinion, a little bit of Porsche that you can touch, a three-dimensional row of letters. And if you stand a bit further away and look at the back of the car, it makes the car look significantly wider than its predecessor. The interior design of the 718 is, in my opinion, in perfect harmony with the exterior design. Everything is even more reduced and more purist, which suits this car very well. We can see this in the air vents in the interior, which are simply round now and even more reduced. Also, the car has a new steering wheel, inspired by the 918, and a frameless monitor on the center console is also on board, of course. 